how long and how far can paramotors fly? Typically, you can fly about two and a half hours and cover 60 to 70 miles. The current world record held by Ramon Morillas from Spain is more than 1,100 kilometers, more than 686 miles. Now, this is a massive difference. So there are obviously many variables that play the key role. Let's talk about that. Welcome to paramotoring. Maybe you've just seen a paramotor flying over the beach or came across a paramotor YouTube video and are super excited about this sport. We are here to answer all the questions of wannabe pilots. Obviously, the most important variable in long distance flying is the wind. Flying with a strong tailwind will increase your ground speed and you cover long distance. Now, there is a simple way how to take the wind out of the equation and that is flying over a closed circuit. Simply land where you took off from. Uh, world record over a closed circuit is only about the half of the distance of the one in the straight line. Now, obviously, these world records have been achieved by taking lots of lots of fuel. Carrying a paramotor with 40 or more liters of fuel is already a huge athletic achievement. For typical recreational use, 12 liters, which equals to three gallons, would be perfectly enough. Some pilots have larger tanks up to maybe five gallons or so. That's something you can still comfortably carry uh, on your back and run with. What matters a lot is the weight of the pilot. I'm 90 kilos, 200 pounds, and I usually burn around five liters per hour. I've always been envious of my colleague Stefan, who is just a little bit lighter, what well, about 70 kilos, and he burns only four liters per hour. That's a huge difference, and weight matters a lot. So, simple advice lose a few kilos of belly fat, and then you can save additional liters in your fuel tank. As you progress in the sport and upgrade into a more advanced glider, your flight range will increase as well. Simply because beginner gliders are designed with the safety as the highest priority, while for the advanced gliders, performance is the key. Last year I did the Wingman Challenge, which is an amazing long distance paramotor adventure stretched over 10 days and 1100 miles in the United States. Now we covered all kinds of landscapes and in some places we really needed to fly up high and then i realized that flying in 10,000 feet or higher my fuel burn increased dramatically i burned about eight liters per hour then when we descended back to the death valley to sea level my fuel burn got back to normal which is around five liters per hour so altitude plays a key role on your fuel burn and range is a thousand mile paramotor flight theoretically possible? And I say yes, I think we already have all the technologies we need for that. So the concept is very simple. Take off somewhere close to the polar circle where there is basically no night in summer. Take a lot of gas, but have a few buddies along the way being ready to provide you air to air refueling. Yes, air-to-air -air refueling has been done already. Successfully, we did that in Iceland. We did it only for fun, but uh, there is a huge potential to actually use it for achieving the world distance record. So the only limiting factor in the end would be how long can the pilot stay awake in the air. I'm waiting for the world distance record to be broken. I'm not going to be the pilot, but I'm ready to help. Who's, who's going to sign up?